I've had requests for what the Tesla app looks like when the vehicle is driving. And uh, so here's what you see on the main screen. So it shows you right now we're driving 82 miles an hour. Uh, you can go down to location right here. It pulls it up on the map. Basically gives you the live view. So I find this useful for checking in if where the car is at. So if like your spouse is using the car or a friend or something, or they're traveling home or you want to check and see if somebody's almost home, you can pull it up and quickly see where they're at. Um, you have the navigate button here to go meet them somewhere. If they already parked somewhere, you can hit that and that'll take you there through either Google Maps normally is what I use on my phone. And then you can cycle on and off the map down to that display. It's also good if you're dropping off your car to service somewhere or a valet or something like that. You can easily just pop it up, see where they're going, how fast they're going. And then down here, it changes with what the uh, street is. Right now, we're just on the 101. So it gives you all that kind of detail there, too. And it's fairly accurate. It's probably just pulling live data from the from the car anyways. Back on. And you can move around your map, and zoom in, and go fixed. And it stops following the car at that point. Disables this button up here at the top, but you can just tap that again and it centers back in on the car and then traces it. And you can go as zoomed in if you want. There you go. That's what it looks like when you have it on uh, driving and the app sitting there. You can also still check in on climate, and you can still mess with climate controls too. If you mess around with somebody driving your car. <clears throat> Disables the center row here, but uh, you can still hit the sunroof and open the roof, hit the lock and unlock. Charging is disabled, but you can still change that. So it won't you open the charge port. There you go.